to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Oh, wow. It's water. The ocean. Hey everyone, it's Wallens. Welcome to Alan Wake 2. Thank you to Epic and Remedy for a copy of the game. We're finally back with a long-awaited sequel to find out what happens in Alan's story after he got stuck in the dark place. I hope you have the lights turned off and you're watching in the dark and all that. Okay. What the hell? Where the hell are we? Who am I? Am I completely naked? No ray of light in the sky. I can hardly see. Hello? What? Hey! Oh, pretty God. What? You just ignored me. Am I... Am I not okay? Do they not think I'm human? Am I not worth saving? Is it early in the morning or late at night? I can't even... It kind of feels like it might be early in the... Did you hear that? Am I going crazy? I can't... It's windy. Oh! Oh, my freaking god! I'm okay. I'm okay. Go, just go. Don't think. can sprint. Yes, that would be good. I look really tired, but you gotta do it, man. Would you rather stay in this forest for longer, or get out of here? I don't even want to look around. No, 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 no! Keep going. I can't help but feel like we're going further... I can't speak. I am too scared to speak. I don't want to look around. Hey! Hey! Please help! Please! No, not like this. 
Not like this. This- Oh! Wait, no. No, 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 no! Oh! Oh, that was meant to happen. my heart oh my god mm, right off the bat the dark figures were very very reminiscent of you know the creepy dark people that we saw in Alan Wake 1 Does that mean that we're not in reality right now, or where even are we anymore? <sighs> Welcome to Alan Wake 2. Damn. This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. Mm. What happened? Just work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Casey. Okay. I will. Bye, kiddo. Alex Casey? Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where oh she my gets God. that from. Why is Alex Casey real? It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are, Cauldron Lake. Oh, time to get to work. Saga Anderson. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. Return one, invitation. So stereotypically FBI agent holding that coffee. Uh, worth memorizing before we get swallowed up by the trees. I've purposefully stayed away a lot. I should take a look at that map. From the Alan Wake 2 marketing, just to go in fresh and stuff. But I know that Saga Anderson is going to be one of our two protagonists this time alongside Alan. But we can see that some weird stuff is going on already because why is Alex Casey real? You know, Alex Casey was the, the main character in the book series that 
Alum was writing. But now he's here in Bright Falls and Cauldron Lake investigating murders? Okay. The murder of the guy that we just saw. It was some kind of cult? Hmm. Hey, that's the actual Washington license plate. I recognize that kind of mountain picture in the back. I see it around my own area too. Huh. Is that where Bright Falls is? In Washington? Ooh. No motorized vehicles protect the trails. I'm sorry, you wanted me to look at this? It's an old map. The map displays key locations in the area. Oh. So there's gonna be like a semi-open worldness to this now? Mine Palace, Cauldron Lake. Hold up. Can I... Wait, is that something I can do right now, or should I wait for them to teach me? Alright, alright. Goals? Two? Get to the crime scene, find the deputies. Yes. Crow's Foot Hills, Cauldron Lake Shore, Witch's Ladle, General Store, Witch's Hut. <laughs> All very normal place names. Witch Finder Station, Streamside. Bony Legged Path, Rental Cabins. We are at the parking lot. Makes sense. Anywhere you wanted to go specifically? To I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back Could down. be our deputy. I can go take a look. Hey, over here. Is that a walkie-talkie? Hey there, Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy mm -hmm. Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Those damn gonna show up, Let's man. move on. Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? <laughs> Loud and clear. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <laughs> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Okay. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Tammy and Ed. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry, Sheriff Breaker took them back to town a while ago. We should probably talk to the witnesses later then, but first of all, crime scene. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell them I'm here, wait a minute. We I'll hear you. Around. They got it, Thornton. <laughs> It's a small town here. People are excited to see city folk? Sure. So this is... Oh. To review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. You can access the case board inside the mind place. Mind place. The mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. Physical representation of my mind. 
You've got a home that seems... Well, it's a home, it's a home, and it's it's nice, although I don't know what's going on over there. It's I don't like those animal heads. I, I wouldn't want one in my home, but mm, clearly she's different. It's a little bit scary, that's why I don't want to see it. Everything we know about the previous murders. Worth taking another look. Right, so this is not the first one. That guy that we played us was like the fourth one at least. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Can we just look at the very beginning here? Yeah, you can zoom in, in and out. You are now free to navigate the case board or leave by pressing escape. Yep, yep, I'd like to look at the, the beginning here. Mm hmm confidential. Cauldron Lake Murders. The Cauldron Lake Murders. Series of murders have occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help our search for the killer. Victims? All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. I believe that's the year of Alan Wake 1, right? Okay, so it's, it's a continuation. Ted Lane, dentist, stab wounds, bloating, bruising on the wrists. The victim was reported missing in 2010, discovered in 2012, buried in a shallow grave. Oh, okay, hold on. Missing and then discovered two years later. Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound, found in Cauldron Lake 2018. Some organs missing, predation? State of body does not match eight years spent in a lake. In what way? It's been preserved? And then Percy Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. Found two weeks ago, chest wound was ruled as cause of death. Tattooing on the body is illegible. This is the guy? Is this our guy that we played us? The only one with a heart removed? If you show me a cult and then you show me people trying to remove organs and stuff, my first assumption is some weird dark ritual. Murder method. Slight difference in murders, bloating only commonality in bodies, but not cause of death. Chest trauma, exposure to water, post-mortem. Bruising on wrists and legs. Like, that, does, that looks like a little bit more than bruising. Two of the victims had bruising, some form of restraint, strapped or belted down. Mm-hmm. Deep gash in the chest, heart missing. Most recent victim died of major chest trauma, consistent with 2018 victim. Hard to confirm due to condition of body. All bodies experience bloating. Bloating of the corpse is indicative of drowning, but only one victim was found in water. Well, our dude woke up on the in the water? He woke up and he was all wet? Killer profile. Postmortem tattooing of the body. Victim number three was discovered in illegible tattoos. A message from the killer, maybe? Or their art? The murder targets have no discernible common traits. Apart from going missing in 2010, the victims have nothing apparent in common. Oh, so, so the, one of them was found two years after they went missing, the other eight years. And then this one found two weeks ago. What year is it now? Wow, that's... Okay. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. Killer may be a sportsman or hunter. If they went missing in the same year, something, something happened to them at the same time. They got stuck in the dark place or something and... Now they found their way out? Right, we got the map here. Okay, I see, I see. Nope, that's all we got for now. I guess I'll check out the rest of my... mind. You've got a very organized mind. Wow, ready to receive guests too. Oh, This is stuff related to my everyday life, I guess. Well, I'm not too sure about Saga. I don't know too much about her yet, but we know she has a kid, Logan. It sounds like she's away for work pretty often, too. There's Logan. And then... That's Alex Casey, yes? Alex Casey, whose face model is Sam Lake. Oh. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Oh, let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Hold up, visiting the mine place does not pause the game. Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. It's too much sky. We'll have to be really careful about that then. We don't do that in the middle of walking around. 
Or at least we gotta make sure we're in a safe place with a partner around us and all. Cauldron Lake? No, oh, I was just gonna check out where where is the crime scene on the map? There, next to the general store, beneath it. Is it a little bit too conspicuous for us to be wearing these gigantic jackets that say FBI on it? I don't know, it feels like it's kind of ruining our chances of going undercover if we ever have to. Hey Casey, you putting me in charge. Why now? Look Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Let's hope it goes a little bit better for him. Starting fires is prohibited. Please do not feed the wildlife. Raccoons may be cute, but they are not cuddly. Leave no trace. Raccoons. Is that all we'll be seeing? How closely should I be looking at the foliage? I'm not sure, but it seems like there's a lot of little subpaths and stuff. Thanks for waiting up. I appreciate it. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I'm a little bit younger than him then. Mirror Peak. The mighty mountain... Ooh, hold up. The mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all of its inverted glory. Hmm, that kind of reminds me of the deer we saw in the beginning. A mirror. This isn't like a very man-made trail though. I mean, there's barely... It's not like there's a pavement here, right? So we do have those boards, but I don't know what the regular traffic of this trail would be like. Do people come here on a Sunday hike or is it usually just pretty quiet? See, there's other ways here. Yeah, but I figured we should probably check out the crime scene first. Just out of curiosity, though. What was that? Yeah, there's different ways around here. Alright. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. <laughs> if they did, next coffee's on me. Oh, well, that's really bad then, because the evidence will wash away if we don't hurry up. Phone booth. Completely gone. Thornton and Mulligan. We had Mulligan earlier, now we have Thornton. Oh! Oh, this is where I ran to as a guy earlier. Like, we saw some lights in the distance. And then I, I went off a, to a separate path earlier, didn't I? Still got attacked anyway. Hey! Hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. You sound cheery. Okay, this this uh, general so, store isn't even... FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. <laughs> Those are real? You guys hiring? Thornton, he's joking. 
Let's just see this body, shall we? Did they put a tarp on it? Nope, they didn't. That's not good. Now this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now he didn't touch nothing, you know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Bloated body, missing in 2010, all that. Step one, examine the corpse. Chest trauma. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You unlocked your first key image. You can place it on the case board inside the mine place. Let's co- Should we collect all the stuff first before we do that? C allows Saga to see active clues. A key image can be selected and placed on the case board. Cauldron Lake murder scene. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Ah, oh. coincidence? So the two weeks ago one is a different one. Is this consistent with previous murders? Need to see if this is linked with the killings we're here to investigate. Hmm. So first thing we would check for is stuff like, you know, did they go missing in 2010? All that. Okay. When a key image is placed, it will prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals. Yes, yes. Yes. Yep. We go. You can collect clues from the body to progress the investigation. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Oh. Okay. They didn't need it for anything? Were they done with it already? Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. They were prepped? Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. But the other people didn't have their hearts removed, I'm pretty sure. According to what we know, anyway. Newly discovered clues can be placed on the open question. Major chest trauma. Uh, do I just put it down? This is consistent with the previous killings, but not the hard part. Cargo straps, yes, there's some trauma, right? Bruising indicates victim was alive when restrained, matches other cases. Not this one, though. Can we... do we do it here? Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. Does but it? This time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Wait, the heart is also... I didn't see the previous ones mention the heart. Heart was removed but then left on the table near the body. Was this murder interrupted? Yeah, that sounds like it, right? If we usually don't see these things, but this time we do, they didn't have time to clean up. The clues have resolved the open question and unlocked the deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions will be unlocked, updating your goals. Oh, wow, we got some like hardcore detective work this time, huh? You can check the updated goals by pressing... Mm -hmm. Learn more about the victim, learn more about the killer. Right, so we can check out the previous ones. Yeah, they mentioned bruising and chest trauma. Oh, oh, this is the previous one. Oh, these are what happened in all the previous cases. I see. And this is just another guy two weeks ago. So it's gone more frequent then. This was this happened in 2012, 2018, and then 2023? Two. Two in 2023. Murder at Cauldron Lake. Okay. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. No ID. He's just completely naked. Large amount of blood on the table. They did it right here. The victim died here. Did he die or... He died because of the heart getting taken out. Oh, that's brutal. They couldn't even have killed him before. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Deduction available. Hold up. 
Any thermoses? No? Just beers? Someone left in a hurry. Knock the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Were they recording this? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. All right. Did you mark any other... Any other clues? Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He what? came to town about 13 years ago. Oh! I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Yeah! Oh, yes! You probably knew him! Brothers in arms! Oh, and sisters. Clues can be discovered by speaking to people as well as examining your surroundings. Robert Nightingale? So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. This was the guy who was chasing Alan back in one. Oh, she she's looks so different that I... I mean, I guess it's been a while, but damn. Icons on the bottom left corner indicate that critical... something. Yes. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. How many people are still here that we knew from before? So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. We should probably do some mind stuff. Casey, Nightingale went off the deep end. FBI fired him. Yeah, look, he... The guy that we were looking at just wasn't that picture. Mm. Murder matches previous cases, but interrupted. May find some new leads this time. Ah, the victim. The killers. So the victim is... Nightingale. I trust Casey's read on people. Sounds like our victim wasn't mentally stable. Oh, I love this this whole like case board thing. It really reinforces what we're learning here, as opposed to just listening about it. Thornton says that victim is Robert Nightingale, last seen in Bright Falls 13 years ago. <sighs> Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Mental state questionable at time of disappearance. Multiple sets of footprints may be the killer. Lots of activity here. Unlikely our killer was working alone. Well, we know that there were like a million people. Heavy blood splatter on the table. Uh, the killer? Boot prints, indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Multiple assailants present. Messy scene, crime of passion. Premeditated. Cooler and beer bottles left behind. Party? Well, multiple people. No? Oh, I'm sorry, there's a new one here. Ah, it changes color is when it's done. When there's stuff here, that means it's done already. Premeditated or spontaneous? Tripod. Well, premeditated. They had a party here. Staking out the spot, having a cold one while they waited for our victim. And then they were gonna record it. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. 
You can use profiling inside Saga's mind place to get inside the heads of suspects and victims. This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst, Mom. <laughs> the Greater Washington Area. Hmm. Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Have a think about what kind of guy Nightingale is. Missing person, ritual murder. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Y yes But Okay Nightingale was chosen as the victim Why? Flick the switch It goes click Lights are off But somebody's home Somebody's home This wasn't some random act of violence This was a ritual And Nightingale a component They didn't see him as a person More like a container for something Oh, taking out the heart, emptying the vessel so that it can be prepared for something else? Victim came from Cauldron Lake. I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake. What do you mean you can feel? Your intuition is that amazing? But why now, after 13 years? Where has he been? He's always been at the lake. Oh... Well, time to check the lake shore then, huh? Anything else we can do here in the meantime? My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. <laughs> what did you do? You didn't... What is this, spilt sugar? Salt? You left the cap open? That's leaving the place. If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Happy birthday, Logan. Are we? He's not my husband, is he? No, we're just partners. Did he come over for the party? Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. Mom may be gone, but whenever I read this, I feel like she's still here. Saga, for what it's worth, I think it's important that Logan grows up seeing you do what you love, what you're great at. That'll teach her so much. There will be times, just like this, when you question your choices, your competence, even your own sanity. When things get dark, remember to trust and love yourself as much as your family does. You won't be perfect, but I know you'll be amazing. Love you always, Mom. Get, I do get the impression we don't seem to be home too often. Is that a picture of the lake? A drawing of the lake? Remember, we shouldn't stay here for too long if we're not safe, because this apparently is not... The game is not paused. The Mile High Strangler case. Proud of that one. Certificate of Meritorious Achievement to Agent Saga Anderson. 8. August 8. 2019. Supervisory Special Agent Stacy Marrow. You no, know, it's past 2019. This, this kind of, it kind of looks like the home is half like it's under construction. It's not fully built. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. I'm surprised we still had the footprints when it's raining this hard. All the evidence. I'm so scared it'll just wash away. The lake? Yeah, I'll just follow Casey. <laughs> hey. 
Any for your thoughts, Casey? So far? This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. Which is ladle. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy, though. Because it's all foggy and stuff. With the way Casey said, hey, is this one of your hunches? Yeah, it, it does sound like Saga has some intuition that might not be intuitive to everyone else. Even the way they showed her at the mine place when she was thinking about that kind of reminded me of back in the AWE DLC and Control when Alan was sitting at the typewriter. Which is ladle. A witch with no heart. A strange echo of Al murder. Hmm. You can put your head in there, take a picture. <laughs> kind of gross, but... <laughs> which is ladle. There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet... There are many mystery stories about the lake, it being a gloomy doorway to the underworld, or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused a lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. The woman returned to avenge her wrongdoers. If she was not a witch before, she was one now. She killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box, with the heart. She would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Or so the legend goes. Barbara? I forgot her last name. You know, the... the widow lady. From the first one. Creepy. Do we have Bigfoot here? What the hell? There's a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? Oh, I, I guess that makes sense. They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. <laughs> a page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Read it, read it. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Oh my god. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Oh. Mm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, words, the words. These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Alan's still hard at work. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. They're still thinking about things in a very... I should profile Nightingale about this page. Like real world kind of mindset. They don't think there's any weird magical stuff going on, which is normal because they're agents and they've seen it all. It sounds like Alan has still been 
Hard at work writing. No writer's block, huh? Profiling. Figure out what happened to Nightingale. The page. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. The house is intuition. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Should we have checked the body more thoroughly? See, that, that just now seemed very voodoo magic-y and not logical intuition. Oh boy. Return one invitation, the message. The victim was one of their own, FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal and bloodied ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was a page, this page, the first page they had found, not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths, secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message, was a message. Someone knew they were here, what they were doing, someone playing a game with them, leading them on, an invitation. How could they not accept the sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them, even if they knew it would end up hurting them? It's not all just typewritten out too, like he typed it out and then made changes and added new lines. He changed his mind in the middle. Footprints emerging from under the rock. Victim came from... What? He walked through a boulder? Doesn't make sense. Well, the boulder fell down after he walked on that spot. Doesn't that make more sense? Trail has gone cold. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. Too many unknowns doesn't make sense asking wrong questions. Trail gone cold. Dead end literally. Well, it's in the tree. That Yeah, that doesn't... The trail starts in the tree. That's weird. Anything else here? Nightingale has something inside of him, <laughs> hidden. There's more going on here than I'm seeing. I need to examine his body properly back in town. Ugh. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. She just has these hunches. Learned all I can. Need to get the body back to town for examination. Do we need a forensics person then? Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Yeah, that makes no sense. All right. What should we do now then? You wanna... Oh. I guess we don't wanna... I mean, I, I sorta wanna look around, but I'll... Keep following. We shouldn't split up. That's how you get murdered. In a horror story. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do... What? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. <laughs> Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. What's interesting is that in Alan's story, Alex Casey was the main character, but he very, very explicitly said, Saga, you're in charge now. So that's, that's a changing factor. And the one thing that he's been bound by is that the story has to make some sort of uh, like a consistent internal logic kind of sense, right? He can't just write on the next page, Oh, Alice Wake was saved and she got out of the dark place. He can't do that. We gotta slowly write our way to it so that it, can, it makes sense and can become reality. Hey! 
You made it back. Good. I hope you didn't get stuck in any of those big puddles. Crazy flooding down there, huh? Just like I said. Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Oh, Not God. A problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Oh Dear Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Deerfest again. That same time of year again. Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Put the lime in the coconut. Do you think anybody still works at the diner, the people that we know? It's been a decade. But these towns are so sleepy and slow. Hey, maybe the waitress lady is still there. Key to the shortcut key, or a gate. Yes, let's use it. Oh, we have a gun. Did you see that? We have a gun. I'm not using it yet. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies oh. aren't exactly <laughs> up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. But the previous murders were all at Cauldron Lake. So they've got to have at least heard about it. And these woods would be really pretty if it wasn't raining and stuff. But it is. So now I'm just... So I don't want to be here. Oh, it's cleared up a little bit. fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod? For a camera? To record a, a snuff film? Maybe. Awful, right? And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Right, the heart isn't the important part. It's to take out, to make a space, to put something else in, because... The body is a vessel. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Oh, I'm sorry, was I? Oh, I, I walked off by myself. I don't think this key's gonna work here. Oh, it works. Wait, did you not want to come here? Casey? But didn't you want to come here? We want to go back to the parking lot, don't we? Sorry. Let's go. You wanna... No? You want me to go by myself? All by my lone zone? Okay. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Uh... We can hike here? Don't know what that means. I feel like I've gone off track a little bit. No, 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 no. That's where we need to be. The parking lot. Why is he not coming with? Here we are. Yeah. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Am I driving? 